All right. Problem four. Uh, part A. Each box identifies a line containing a pair of points. Indicate whether each line represents a proportional relationship between x and y by dragging the boxes to the appropriate location. Proportional relationship or non-proportional relationship. So we know we have lines here, right? Now, a proportional relationship essentially is going to be kind of like a scale factor problem. Are you multiplying x and y by the same number? If you are, it's going to be a proportional relationship. If it's not, it's not going to be a proportional relationship. So what did I multiply 1 by to get 2? Well, I multiplied it by 2. 3 times 2 is not 3. Line 2. What did I multiply 1 by to get 2? Well, I multiplied it by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. That is proportional. What did I multiply 3 by to get 6? 2. 1 times 2 is 2. Right. <coughs> what did I multiply 0 by to get 5? Well, there's nothing I can multiply 0 by to get 5. In line 5, what did I multiply, f mm, what did I multiply 4 by to get 5? Well, I multiplied it by uh, 4, uh, what's it called? Multiply by the same thing I multiplied to get 3. That one was pretty obvious. All right. Part B, for the lines in part A that do not represent a proportional relationship, explain why they do not. For each line in part A that does not represent a proportional relationship, describe how you would change the coordinates of one of the two given points to create a proportional relationship. And, hmm. I'm a little confused as what what the graph is for, because it doesn't say anything about the graph. Oh, maybe the graph is to help you. Makes a very nice line. All right. So, here we go. Uh, so it says for the lines of our A, they do not present proportional. Say, for a line one and line 4 or better yet I should start by saying lines oh my goodness this thing's going to drive me crazy I feel badly that you guys have to actually take it on this thing <coughs> Lines 1 and line 4, lines 1 and 4 are not proportional because the value that you multiplied to the x value was not what you multiplied the y value by <coughs> in the to get the second point. Now does that make sense? I'm not an English teacher, so let's reread it. Lines 1 and 4 are not proportional because the value that you multiplied to the x was not what you multiplied the y value by to get the second point. <coughs> For example, and I'm a big fan of this, when you write about math, you should use examples. For example, in line one, if I multiply the first point x value by Two. 
then I must also multiply the y value by 2 to get the new point. If I start with 1 comma 2, sorry, 1 comma 3, my second point should be 2, 2 comma 6. And now let's see. For part A, do not. Uh, for line two, if I start <coughs> at zero comma two, I will have a hard time applying. A scale factor that would give me a point not on the y axis. So <coughs> So in other words, anything I multiply 0 by will always get me 0. So in that case, I just end up with a line that is a straight vertical. All right.